Today marks the first day of the long-awaited start to the investigation into the January 6th insurrection on Capitol Hill. Four of the law enforcement officers who were there battling the crowds that day, testifying today in front of the bipartisan committee, which now includes Republican Adam Kinzinger. Congressman Ted Lieu served as an impeachment manager on the President, uh, President Trump's second impeachment. He is joining us now with some perspective. Congressman, thank you for being here. And do you worry uh, right off the bat that there is an issue of legitimacy in the eyes of some Americans because they, they see this as one-sided, if you will, that the Republicans, on their own, they've decided now they don't want to participate. So does that in some way uh, already going into this um, really have a legitimacy issue? I don't think that's correct. This is a bipartisan select committee. You have Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger on it. And what's going to be important are the actual testimonies and documents being produced. You're going to hear from four police officers who were there on January 6th. They're going to talk about how they were brutally assaulted, who assaulted them, what they saw that day, and they're going to give the truth to the American people. That's what's important. And do you think that's fair still in calling it bipartisan? Uh, uh, Lena McCarthy is the one who decided he didn't want uh, to have, uh, or he pulled all of his nominations to the committee. Kinzinger and Cheney, uh, he described them as Pelosi uh, Republicans, I do believe. So it was Pelosi who picked these two. Does that still come across as bipartisan to you? I think a more accurate description is they're truthful Republicans. <laughs> There's nothing preventing Leader McCarthy from putting back the three other members of the Republicans for this committee that Speaker Pelosi was fine with. He just chooses not to do that. It was very mysterious to us why the former president took so long before calling the National Guard. We want to know why the former president didn't act, even though he was watching this assault on the Capitol. There's be multiple witnesses who could testify to that. You think President Trump is a material witness here? Absolutely, I do. Now, it will be up to the committee whether they choose to call him. They could put this another way by calling people who were with him that day. But, you know, I think the American people want to know why did the president watch for hours and hours this attack on our Capitol and never have called in the National Guard? You have uh, said, and I want to read this and make sure I have this right here, but you said uh, this idea that the, our, the, the Republican Party is now being radicalized before our very eyes, and as you put it, even becoming a cult. What do you mean by that? You have Republicans like Andrew Clyde saying that January 6th was, quote, a normal tourist visit, unquote. That is a cult. That's cult-like behavior, cult-like sayings. They are following someone and disrespecting law enforcement. They're ignoring evidence of their eyes and ears. Absolutely, you got some members of the Republican Party turning into a cult. Congressman Lou, I know you need to, to get back in there, so we appreciate you taking some time with us, and we'll check in with you down the road, okay? Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.